My name is Angel Muñoz and I'm with the IRI, part of the Earth Institute at Columbia University. In this short video, I will explain how to download subseasonal to seasonal data available in the data library using the command line program curl. This approach is very useful if you are interested in automating some of your work processes involving subseasonal forecasts. First, let's write an ingrid code to select the data we want to download. As in other examples I have recorded, for the sake of consistency, I will use the ACMWF model, the April 16, 2018 initialization, and week 3 as a target. Let's go to the irildcolumbia.edu expert side. Um, IRI, sorry, IRIDL expert. And here we're going <coughs> to code, we're going to call the um, data that we need, just write in sources ECMWF, this is the folder where we have the S2S database. We're going to use the ECMF model, we're going to work with every forecast, we're going to use the perturb members, surface precipitation, and total precipitation. Um, the start date, as I just said, is April 16th, 2018. We won week three, so from day 14 to 21, we won the differences, as in the previous examples, between those two days. And then as we have done before, we can just play, we can include with a, we can include a constant just to change the um, units. So let's just create this constant, which is going to be the water density. Which is 998 um, kilograms per cubic meter. We're going to divide by that constant, and then we're going to change to millimeters. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're going to consider age date, all years available, so 1998, all years available for that initialization time, 2017 range. And with that, we have now um, the actual field, but we want anomalies, and let's just duplicate that, send it to the stack, compute an average on each date, those years that I just mentioned, average, and then compute the anomaly, and compute the average on all the members. There you go. So now um, we can go to data files and the idea in data file is that we need the link to uh, the data that we want to download, for example, NetCDF. As you can see here, um, the, normally, you know, if everything is working well, you will see an interface um, and you need to have um, the, our data agreement form signed. Probably you already did this, but if you haven't done it, um, you can select social, as I explained in a previous video, and register using your social media account from the available list here. Okay, so you can do that. In my case, I already have a local IRI um, account, and then what I really need is to copy this link to the NetCDF. Okay, very good. So Really, in order to download data using the command line and curl, on even you can use other similar programs, um, what you will need is an access key. So I recommend that you send uh, an email to help at iri.columbia.edu asking for it, indicating which email address or social media account you used to sign the data agreement mentioned before. Then you will get an answer from us 
with your private key, which is a very long one, and obviously I won't be able to show you any examples here, um, but you will get it. Please don't share it with anyone else as, as it is tied to your account information. You can then use curl directly from the com command line. Let's try to open a shell over here. And um, you can call curl or whatever you're using uh, via computing languages like R, MATLAB, Python, and others. For a particular example, let's write the following, which is, I think, the key part here. So we'll just need to do a curl minus. Uh, g dash dash fail sorry fail k b and then we can do a um, dl of id equal here you're gonna add your access key okay and then we can do and then another one and then we can do actually we can here we're gonna just paste the um, link that we just copied before so you can see that this is the link to the netcdf data that we just um, got from the data library here from this link here and i just copied that there you know using this particular format, we want to download that to a particular, you know, netcdf file locally on the directory where you are writing this code, this, uh, you know, um, yes, command here. And let's say that just for the sake of um, the illustration, I'm going to call it local file.nc. Obviously, this is not going to work because you need your access key here. But this is the format. This is usually what you need to do in order to download the um, netcdf, in this case, file. So that's it for additional examples on how to use curl in multiple coding languages. Please visit our IRI wiki at wiki.iri.columbia.edu. If you have additional que questions, just uh, send us an email to help at iri.columbia.edu. And remember that there are other short videos available if you want to keep practicing how to use the IRI data library for your S2S experiments. Thank you very much.